Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that's usually not discussed in the majority of our local churches. There is a fear that if this subject is preached across the pulpit, that there will be many in the congregation that will get up and leave, or they will not want to return to the service. So with that being said, let me get into today's letter that I received from a young lady who's going through a rather troubling situation, and I believe there are others who are in her shoes as well, and they need help. They need deliverance. And that is what the Word of God does. It brings deliverance uh, to our destructions. So let's get into today's letter. The letter reads, Hi Gabe, my name is blank. I just want to thank you for the breakdown of the Word. I truly appreciate that. Well, a little bit about myself. I asked God to take away the desire to stop smoking, and He did. Praise God. But now I am vaping. I don't know if it is wrong. I'm really struggling with this, so I'm asking for prayer for my family and I. Thank you, blank, from Trinidad. Well, I believe the reason why she may be struggling with this is because she's getting a mixed message. She's hearing one thing from the world, which condones such an activity, and says that it's a healthy alternative to smoking, and that it's, it has many benefits and whatnot, and then she's feeling the other uh, uneasiness and, 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 and uh, a troubled conscience within her, 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 her soul that says that it's not right. Uh, so she's reaching out for assistance, and that's, that is what we're here for, to guide, to lead with instruction and correction. So today's teaching is entitled, Is it okay for a born-again Christian to smoke cigarettes, vape, or smoke cigars? Now let's take a look at the effects of cigarettes. Cigarettes. Cigarettes have many poisonous chemicals. Cigarettes can cause cancer and other internal organ damage. Uh, this is very obvious. There, there are many people who die every year because of shriveled up lungs or contaminated, corroded, corrupted lungs, emphysema, um, strokes, whatever sort of poisonous chemicals uh, poisonous chemical damage uh, is caused to the internal organs. Uh, people suffer from that, and it's because of cigarettes, because of the inhalation of the toxins and the smoke and the poisonous gas into our human bodies, which are fragile, which are sensitive, which were not made uh, for smoke. We're not, we're not a chimney, okay? We're not some sort of receptacle that emits smoke uh, from burning firewood. No, we're not mufflers okay we're not exhaust pipes we have lungs to inhale and exhale oxygen that's how god created us but when we put in chemical poisons that are not intended for the human body then we cause corrosion and destruction and damage take a look at this photo here of a cigarette a burning cigarette some of the uh substances or the chemicals that are in a cigarette toluene toluene industrial solvent carbon monoxide, car exhaust, uh, cadmium, batteries, arsenic, rat poison, ammonia, toilet cleaner, radon, radioactive gas, hexamine, barbecue lighter, methane, sewer gas, tar, road surfaces, acetone, nail varnish remover, and this is this is a very this has very strong stench to it, strong smell. This even removes paint. And these people are smoking this. It's within the cigarette. A chemical that it has such a harsh smell will give you, it'll give you headaches, give you migraine headaches. Uh, it removes paint. It burns. It can burn your skin. It shouldn't be inhaled. But yet these people have it in their cigarettes and they're smoking it. Nicotine, pesticide. Polonium, 210, radioactive element. Methanol, rocket fuel. Hydrogen cyanide, poison, butane lighter fuel. Now, although these may be a, uh, a given in doses of, of a small percentage, they are still ingredients in the cigarette. These harmful chemicals include nicotine. It's a powerful, fast-acting, addictive drug which reaches your brain in seven seconds. It increases the heart rate and raises your blood pressure. And isn't this ironic that many people who have so-called anxiety or paranoid or they get nervous, they go straight to the cigarette uh, to counter the nervousness, but in turn, 
they're actually uh, creating more of a rapid heart rate and a raised blood pressure. The devil is a liar. Carbon monoxide, a colorless, poisonous gas found in high concentrations in tobacco smoke. When you inhale it, it enters into your bloodstream and interferes with the working of your heart and blood vessels. Tar, a sticky brown substance that forms when tobacco cools and thickens. It collects in your lungs and can cause cancer. Now, this here is tar. You know, I, used to lay, I used to lay this stuff on city streets. And this is, it has a, a very strong smell. And if you get it on your clothing, it'll just stay. It'll stay in your clothing. Get it on your, your skin, it'll, it'll stick there. It's very hard to come off. And tar from cigarette smoking accumulates in a person's lungs. Now, what about cigars? You say, well, preacher, you know, we just, we just puff the smoke. We don't inhale it. It doesn't go into our lungs. Well, let's take a look at the effects of cigars. Cigar smoking can cause cancers of the mouth and throat, even if you do not inhale. Cigar smoking can cause lung cancer and heart disease. Now, people want to smoke cigars to look cool. They feel that it's like status. It's a, it's a marker of status. You know, I've achieved in life. I'm a little successful. Let me just light my big cigar and uh, look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, but listen, even if you do not inhale, this can this smoke from the cigar can still accumulate in your mouth and it can cause cancer in your mouth and in your throat. Now let's take a look at some of the harmful effects of a cigar. Are there harmful chemicals in cigar smoke? Yes. Cigar smoke, like cigarette smoke, contains toxic and cancer-causing chemicals that are harmful to both the smokers and non-smokers. Cigar smoke is possibly more toxic than cigarette smoke. Notice that. More toxic than cigarette smoke. Cigar smoke has a higher level of cancer-causing substances. During the fermentation process for cigar tobacco, high concentrations of cancer-causing nitrosamines are produced. These compounds are released when a cigar is smoked. Nitrosamines are found at higher levels, higher levels in cigar smoke than in the cigarette smoke. Now, just because you don't smoke cigars and you only smoke cigarettes doesn't uh, get you off the hook. You are still smoking a cancer stick that is filled with rat poison, radioactive material, lighter fluid, toilet cleaner, tar, and many other poisonous chemicals. So just because the cigar has more nitrosamines that are cancer-causing than the average cigarette, um, uh, the cigarette stick, it doesn't get you off the hook. You're still in a dire situation that's going to lead to emphysema, uh, shriveled up lungs, uh, heart attack, stroke, COPD, or cancer. More tar. For every gram of tobacco smoke, there is more cancer-causing tar in cigars than in cigarettes. That's why they get mouth and throat cancer more often, the cigar smokers. A higher level of toxins. Cigar wrappers are less porous than cigarette wrappers. The non-porous cigar wrapper makes the burning of the cigar tobacco less complete than the burning of the cigar cigarette tobacco. As a result, cigar smoke has higher concentrations of toxins than cigarette smoke. You're damned if you smoke cigars. You're damned if you smoke cigarettes. There's no way out of this. So let's talk about the effects of vaping. Vaping. What is vaping? Vaping is an electronic cigarette or e-cigarette uh, is a handheld electronic device that simulates the experience of smoking a cigarette. It works by heating a liquid which generates an aerosol or a vapor that is inhaled by the user. Using e-cigarettes is commonly referred to as vaping. Take a look at some of the ingredients in, in vape, in vaping. Uh, two, butanone. Two, feraldehyde. Acetaldehyde, acetic acid, acetone, acrolein, and, and forgive me for some of the pronunciation. These aren't every word that I use in my language, but someone who's into uh, this sort of wording or this field 
of study will, will, will pronounce these words quite clearly, and they know what these are. These are a lot of uh, poisonous chemicals. Iron, isoprene lead, limonian, MP, xylene, magnesium. These are just a few of the ingredients that are found in the vape. You say, well, I don't smoke cigarettes, I just vape. No, you just smoke, you vape, you inhale, you ingest all of these chemicals, these poisonous, some of these are poisonous chemicals, into your bloodstream. First Peter tells us in chapter 5, verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And how can one be sober and vigilant if they're high off marijuana? If they constantly take, are taking cigarettes in the system? If they're vaping? Have you ever seen these big plumes of steam, smoke, come out of cars? When I first seen that, I thought the car was on fire. But I realized a little bit later that these people are actually uh, exhaling that substance. Well, they have to inhale it to exhale it. So it's going in the system and it's coming out of the mouth and it's going to create a world of problems. That's not being sober and vigilant. When Jesus Christ comes back, you should not have a cigarette in your hand. When Jesus Christ comes back at any moment, you should not have a bottle of tequila in your hand. When Jesus Christ comes back, you should not be watching porn on the computer. When he comes back, you should not be vaping. You should not be smoking marijuana. You should be as the five wise virgins who had their uh, candle wicks trimmed. And there was oil in their lamp and they were prepared to meet the groom. Jesus said, pray always that you may be found worthy to escape all these things that shall come upon the earth. Pray that you may be found worthy. You're not worthy if you're intoxicated. You're not worthy if you're bound in cigarettes. You're not worthy if you're uh, under the influence of a controlled substance. You're not vigilant. The Bible says be sober and be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, goes around like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And he comes very subtly. And he's a deceiver. He's a beguiler. Doesn't matter what the scientists say, what your parents say, what your school says. If God says it's it's a, an irritant to your salvation and it's going to be something that's going to bar you from His kingdom, then why play with fire? Romans twelve two states, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And this should be your motto, scripture, as a as a Christian. We ought to make sure that we're not being conformed to this world. What does that mean? Going with the flow. Going with the tide. But he said, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What does that mean? It means not going with the flow, not going with the tide. Jesus said, narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. Few are going to find it. That, that narrow road is the transformed road, the renewing of mind mode uh, road. Where the, where the born-again Christian walks. But the broad road, he said, leads to destruction, and many go there, go there therein. So when you're conformed to this world, you're going down the broad road that leads to destruction. But when you're not conformed to this world, and you're transformed by the renewing of your mind, you're on the narrow path that leads to eternal life. Okay? You ought to learn how to swim upstream. You ought to learn how to go against the tide. Amen. You ought to learn how to go against the flow, the flow of the masses, the populace, the majority of the people. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. So, is it okay to vape as a healthy alternative to smoking cigarettes? No. Not if you want to be a true born-again Christian. Not if you want to prepare yourself to meet the groom. Not if you want to seek God's kingdom. Not if you want to lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily besets you. Not if you want to walk in the Spirit and not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. We shouldn't vape. We shouldn't smoke marijuana. We shouldn't smoke cigarettes or cigars. We should have nothing here that binds us. 
We should be whom the Son has set free, and we should be free indeed. No chains of bondage, no crutches, no sins are to the rug. We strive for perfection. I congratulate you from co- for coming such a long way in your walk with the Lord. Now continue on. The Bible says that we should grow in the grace and in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no stationary point, a plateau where we get on this earth, where we can just put it in cruise control and say, well, I'm good, I'm fine. I'm going to wait till the Lord comes back and I'm just going to live how I want to live. No, you're, you're once again being conformed to the world. The world is always going to have new fads and new things that uh, seek to vie for our attention. But it's a constant renewal. It's a constant transformation of mind so that we do not fall in the format of this world. Praise the Lord. I pray that this message has been a blessing to you. If you have any further questions, you may reach me at my email. And I pray that you go in peace in Jesus' name.